you're a dermatologist, you've taught me this. It's really important to protect yourself from the sun, okay? Yes. Because I want you to check out these photos of a 21-year-old Texan named Cade, recently shared sunburn pics that went viral. Why, you may ask. Cade said that he shaved his head a day or two before mowing his yard just to see what it would look like, but he didn't use sunscreen while mowing. His head swelled up so much that he was able to put a visible dent in it that lasted for 30 plus minutes afterwards. Oh. You see that? Wow. That's crazy. So, so he actually posted this and this photo went viral. And it's been, it had just a very cute, very tongue in cheek message about how it's really important to wear sunscreen. And so what's happening here is he had such a bad sunburn that all of this fluid from those injured cells that were burned went into the dermis of his skin. And this actually has a fancy name. It's called pitting edema. And that's why when he made that, that press, it left that dimple for so long. Oh my gosh. I mean, seriously, sometimes sunburns can get so bad you start to feel feverish, mm -hmm. nausea. I mean, it's very uncomfortable. So what can we do to protect ourselves? Well, so especially for someone like this, I think it's relevant that he shaved his head because hair actually gives you a nice protection against the sun the more dense it is but for someone like this if you're going to be out mowing your lawn also to protect your face please please wear a broad rim tap mm -hmm. I'm a big advocate for the broad spectrum mineral sunscreens which are zinc based at least an SPF 30 because they're going to block both the UVA and the UVB portion of the spectrum because I think that especially now as air quality is getting more poor the ozone layer is really thin when you're out you're getting a lot of ultraviolet and you might not not realize it and it's so damaging it leads to the changes that lead to skin cancer to brown spots if, to wrinkles if you're bald you have to remember to mm. protect the the top of Definitely your head because it's so uh dr travis my, skin, my skincare gurus over here we so recognize you. <laughs> if you are bald you can apply sunscreen mm -hmm. but if your hair is really really short doesn't offer that protective mechanism mm -hmm. what's the best thing to put in your hair to protect mm -hmm. yourself from the sun when Obviously, you don't want to lather sunscreen you on your... You put a little in there. It's yeah. kind of like broken. I mean, I, I agree with you, though. This is... And mess with the dew? <laughs> no. It'll Stop slick on the back a little look. bit. Yeah, no, I, maybe I think... Maybe just a little bit around... So, yeah, the, the main thing would be a hat. That would be the easiest, cleanest thing to do. But if you can, try to get... There are some zinc sprays now, and you can massage that into okay. the skin of your scalp on the tops of your ears. That's right. Because that's, that's truly such, helpful. It's just such a forgotten area. It really mm -hmm. is. And it's sadly a really high area on the rise for skin cancer. And it's really mm -hmm. hard to check your scalp. So if you do feel a growth or a bump and it's there for more than a month and you don't know why it's there, then please, please make sure someone checks it because it's a tough area to look at.